Here's my favorite woodworking project to make and sell on Facebook Marketplace for a quick buck. I've been selling woodworking projects on Facebook Marketplace for years. I even ended up in the newspaper and on the news for my strange selling techniques. Anyway, I found that the one thing that always seems to sell on Facebook Marketplace is mirrors. And you can find a mirror on the side of the road pretty much anywhere. Just keep your eye out and you'll find one. I brought this mirror into my workshop and tore the back off of it and removed the mirror from this frame. I'll be saving the wood from this frame for another project down the road. I couldn't find my safety glasses anywhere, so I decided I'd just cut these pieces of wood with my eyes closed to make sure my eyes were safe. I'm kidding, I definitely didn't do that. Don't cut things with your eyes closed. But I actually couldn't find my safety glasses, so I had to build this whole project without them. I know, not my smartest decision, but uh, you know. These things happen. Leave a comment. Do you guys always wear your safety glasses if you can't find them? Be honest. I know this is how accidents happen. Rushing. Stuck my finger right into the table saw one day. Okay, back to the project. So far, all I've done is measure my mirror and start breaking down this wood to build the frame. These boards I was using were 4x4s, so I had to rip them on the table saw. And to do this, I raised the blade a little bit at a time, passing it through the table saw and flipping the board end to end and passing it through again so that I could split the board right down the middle. I would not be able to cut all the way through these boards with one pass. First of all, because my blade doesn't go that high. And second of all, because the saw is not strong enough to cut through through that much wood all at once. After I had my boards ready to go for the frame, I cut a channel where my mirror itself will be sitting inside the frame. To do this, I raise my blade to a quarter inch, quarter inch? Yeah. And move my fence on my table saw over to a quarter inch as well. I ran my boards through the blade laying down, then I can turn the board up on its side and run it through standing up on its side against the fence. And by making these two cuts, you'll remove a quarter inch square along the whole length of your piece of wood, creating the perfect channel for your mirror to sit in. After that, I brought the boards over to my miter saw, cut them out of 45, then measured for the other end. Using the mirror would give you a more accurate cut, but it looks like this time I decided to use the tape measure for some reason. Not like me. I couldn't find my strap clamp thingy for picture frames, so I took this large piece of melamine and screwed some boards nice and square around my picture frame, and then I could apply some glue and just wedge in some pieces of wood to hold it secure while the glue dried. The next day I came out and removed the wedges and I was able to take this over to my table saw and use this handy little jig I made to cut 8 inch slots into the corners of this frame. I'll be sliding these 8 inch boards covered with some glue into those slots that I've just cut with that jig and this will help secure the frame and make sure that it's nice and sturdy and never falls apart. I made a short little video about how I made this jig and the link to that will be down below in my description to this video. Go check it out if you're interested in seeing how I did that. Once I had the frame all built and sturdy and ready to go, it was time to give it all sand. And to sand rough wood like that, I like to use these five inch sanding pads on my angle grinder. This threads right onto your angle grinder on that hole right there and then you can pop a sanding pad onto there and it'll sand off all that dust and dirt in no time. Then it was time to just give this frame a couple coats of boiled linseed oil and slide the frame in there, put a piece of wood over the back, and then I use screws to secure everything in. I posted this mirror for sale on Facebook Marketplace on a Wednesday, and by the time the weekend came around, I had sold this for $125. And you can too. Go find some crap on the side of the road and make something. Later, thanks so much for watching. Oh, and check out the bean video right here. Bye. Bye, see you again, and have a good dream.